Hello and welcome to another episode. Today's one, it's going to be a little bit different. No drifting, no Jap or Euro cars. The reason for that is Dad has gone and bought himself a brand new TA2 race car, a very, very cool bit of kit. And this episode is going to be devoted to his first event in the car, his first race. The reason that's special for me is he was very competitive in car racing for a long time until I got to about six years old and the family took up too much of the time. I ended up doing go-karts, motocross, and every other motorsport under the sun. And dad was also very busy on his uh, working on the business. So he's got to the stage now. He's able to scrape his pennies together, buy a new race car, and uh, we're off to the bend for his first event. So come with us on the journey. It's uh, It was a bit of a, a tricky one getting out there in time, even to the point we had to borrow a truck because the uh, car's actually so wide it doesn't fit on the trailer. So. That, uh, that's going to be this video. Hope you enjoy it. to go for the practice day here. Dad's just uh, fitting himself in so I thought I might just uh, show you guys around the car and uh, give you guys a bit of an idea of what he's working with. So obviously this is a fiberglass body here. These are all paint uh, stickers. So not an actual Mustang for anyone wondering. It's a bit too wide and uh, fat for that. Got uh, LS3 engine. I think it's 520 horsepower at the crank. Yeah. Big old airbox, big old radiator. Big slicks too. What what type of tire are these? Who's in? No, like the, the, the ply, are they cross ply? ply. Yeah. yeah. So they move around a lot more than tires that you'd see on like Carreras and stuff like that, which makes them a lot more fun to drive. I think they've got the biggest brakes that you can get under these uh, steel rims. So four speed dog box, a little bit of arrow, not much. Uh, quick change rear end. I'll see if I can, I don't know how much you'll be able to see on the GoPro there, but quick change your rear end so you, you can change it nice and easy. Oh, big old fuel cell in the back. So yeah, it's a full tube frame race car. So you have a look, so that's obviously a Mustang, but it doesn't have any Mustang parts other than some stickers. The and then, oh, the mirrors, they're, they're, they're the only Mustang part. <laughs> so, uh, that one there is obviously a Mustang. Then you've got this one here that's a Camaro. And again, I think it's just the mirrors and the stickers on the front that make them different because the cars underneath are exactly the same, just a different fiberglass body. So that is the car. There's obviously a lot more to it than just that, but that's the quick overview. Gonna get him ready for first practice, do some tire pressures, do a couple of other little bits and pieces and uh, get him out there. into the second session now and uh, we didn't get any chance to film after the first one we're so busy doing changes got it uh, probably about two laps of that session and it looks like somebody I think it may be the car that's in the same pit as us has uh, gone backwards into the wall or something had something happen because the back of that car is not looking so good so uh, been red flagged after a couple of laps I'm not sure how much of this session we're actually gonna get now but uh, well he did a quicker lap so I guess that's a good start um, we made a couple of changes to the car and uh, 
hopefully we're moving in the right direction. So I ended up restarting that session, managing to get the other car off the track. He uh, got a chance to go around and drive with some other cars though, so he can get a bit of a feel for how fast everyone else is, since we don't really know what a good time around here at the moment is. So he's uh, had a chance to uh, play with some other cars and uh, yeah, should give us a bit of a better, well, yardstick to figure out how we're actually going. So how was it then? Give YouTube a overview. Yeah, that was really good. Um, it's good to go out and drive with some guys that have been racing for a while to, to get a feel of how the car speed's going. And the car didn't seem too bad. Um, you know, it's still got a little few little issues in it, but I imagine a car like this is always going to have that's part of the the car will be moving around all the time. So it's never going to be a Formula One car. And that makes it fun to drive. You're just trying to figure out what is the bit that you're trying to improve. Yeah. Well, the moving is the fun part, like you said, so... Yeah, no, it's fun to drive. Did I was really happy with the car to be able to sort of stick with guys that have been doing it for years, to be able to, you know, in the first race out, that's uh, pretty rewarding. So that session was a fair bit better. We picked up about half a second on our best lap, which, considering it didn't get that many clean laps without other cars, is pretty good. Using, he's using... We're making sure he's using the brakes properly. Um, properly, as in staying hard and consistent on the pressures. Better job of that, more consistent on the brakes, obviously means less uh, time spent slowing down. So I picked up that half a second, so I'm pretty happy about that. The car's feeling, he said, a bit better. Um, and uh, so yeah, we've, we've got to be happy with that. We've got a couple more changes we reckon we can make to it. But yeah, it's just a matter of learning all the nuances of this car over everything else he's ever driven. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's going right for us. Unfortunately, not quite as good for the people in the pit next to us. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, that's a bit of a bugger for them. Yeah, we've got a couple of changes that we're going to do for the next session, and then a couple of big ones, I reckon, that we might do overnight. We've got uh, a lot of data. Um, I won't get it out now, but this uh, Motec stuff logs pretty much everything. All the throttle positions, the braking. It has GPS for where you are on the track. It's got micro sectors, so it tells you it tells you a sector that is basically just one corner. So you can get a really good idea of how fast you're actually going through that corner on this lap compared to that lap. So it's all pretty cool stuff. On to uh, session three. third and final session for today with this headset on I feel like I need to tell someone to go hit the pace car but um, yeah a couple of little things for him to work on see if we can get into the 58s so third session done I think that went uh, better the car looked like it was a bit better and I reckon dad was driving it more aggressively. He had someone that was one of the faster cars come in behind him, pass him. And I think that's gonna give dad a good chance to figure out where the car's lacking, where we need to work on, and how the other guys are driving. So I think this should be pretty good. I reckon we're gonna have our best laps in there. How was that for you? Yeah, good. Very good. Got a bit quicker again, which is good. And uh, yeah, just ran out a bit of rear tire at the end. Yeah, yeah, the, the tire had nothing on it in the end. I also had a feeling that was going to be the case, but she was shot. So it was, it was swiming around all over the place in the left rear, but that's all right, I knew it was that sort of thing. So it's all right, it's good. 
So we've got a lot of work to do now, stickers to put on, we've got uh, tyres to change, some uh, brake master stuff to look at and uh, I think we're going to go a different set of springs and a whole bunch of work to do before tomorrow. So I'll uh, see if, uh, well, start us that day, day two. qualifying time he's just rolled out I guess uh, now we get to see how he stacks up against everyone else got a, I think a 20 minute session and uh, brand new tires so uh, should have a good time out there So Dad's belting in at the moment. He uh, got ninth in qualifying, which is a bit surprising out of probably 18 or 19 cars. So, got to be 20 apparently. Got to be pretty happy with that. Um, he did a, a cracker time. It was 0.6 of a second faster than he'd done before in the car. So, really uh, waited to the last second to turn it on. I think he did his fastest lap on uh, lap seven, where most other guys did it on one or two. So, that's pretty cool. He's getting ready for the top 10 shootout now. So he should be able to give it his best crack at one good lap. So that's his shootout lap done. It was a pretty good lap, slightly slower than his best during qualifying. It was a 58.4. Nice and consistent and uh, yeah, it should put him in decent stead. There was a few people in qualifying that were pretty close to uh, his time, so we'll see how they go. But I think he's just pretty much uh, happy that he made it in the shootout, so any position he gets above the 10 is gonna be uh, even better. How's that? Uh, a little bit disappointing. I didn't quite get the the, the track right. Uh, it was, it was point two slower, so it's not that far off. So now we're just nervously looking at the timing screen. He's uh, he's managed to bump himself up one position. He's in eighth at the moment, and uh, still got a few more cars to go. So. Uh, there's a couple of uh, chances for him to go one or two forward, but these guys are, well, they're a whole bunch quicker, so they're gonna have to make a, uh, a pretty decent mistake, but now we're just uh, watching the timing. A whole bunch quicker is a bit rude. <laughs> rude, but accurate. <laughs> Dad's on the dummy grid down there. This is going to be race one. This uh, series does a rolling start, which he said he hasn't done since uh, probably go karts. So, a bit of a new learning experience for him. Well, he got ninth position and it was a pretty clean race from what I could see. 
I didn't get to see a whole lot of it myself just because uh, we had a few radio issues so I didn't speak to him for the entire race. Didn't look like he needed me too much though because uh, yeah, he seemed to do pretty well by himself but uh, we're gonna have to look at those radios and figure out why I couldn't tell him what was going on. better because you didn't have to talk to me. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> All the check tyre pressures, that's it. Yep, these two are on the tyre pressures. Look at Jake go, he's ready, he's got his pressure gauge. <laughs> so. Dad drove well, kept it, uh, kept it clean, kept it off any walls in anyone else's car. So going in tomorrow with a bit more confidence, you know where we sit and uh, well, you know how to do a, a roll start now. Yeah, haven't done one since go-kart, so that's only about, you know, I don't know, 40 years ago or something, so. So yeah, we're, uh, we've done a couple of setup changes to the car, a bit more corner waiting, and uh, should be ready to rip for tomorrow. All right, on the dummy grid for the first race of Sunday, which is race two of the weekend. We got all the drivers lined up. This one's going to be live streamed, so uh, yeah, he's all ready to go. A little bit of a panic to get everything out to the dummy grid, but uh, you know, got a full day of racing ahead, so hopefully it's a, a good race. To muscle cars, yeah, baby, time to get after it. Good start from Johnson and Dylan Thomas on that second row. Oh, wow. Look at this. McLaughlin up the inside. Sutton. So that's a great little battle pack. Sutton now moves by. Crutcher. I love that big number four. You cannot miss the number on the side of that thing. Bates lurking all up the inside. Lindstrom. Good move. Well, that's race two done. He uh, went backwards a little bit at the start, but uh, got his act together and uh, pushed on forwards. Got a couple of good passes in, got up to seventh. And just in that last lap, one of the uh, the faster cars, which happened to end up at the back of the field, came through and just managed to get him. So that was a good race, I think. I think he's pretty happy. He's in Park Ferme at the moment. A nice little cone on the back of the car. It means that no one can really touch it or do anything until they come and uh, check that it's all in spec. So. So how was that? Uh, no, that was good, really good. I, I was a little bit tentative at the start, just to make sure I gave everyone a bit of space. And so I went back a couple of spots. There was a car in front of me that ran into the back of another car, so I thought maybe they were going to turn it around. So I sort of got out the, I got out the pedal a little bit, and just drove a bit more room, but then put me back a couple of spots. And then I worked my way back forward and got up to eight. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, Time for race three, and uh, didn't make too much of a setup change to the car, it was pretty good. But I think it's all about uh, managing your tyre bank at the moment, because we've got a 12 lapper coming up as race number uh, race number four, and we've got to make sure we've got a good set for that. So, he's down there, P8, and he's taken over the, uh, the radios, so he's going to be crew chief for this one, so he can learn the ropes, and uh, hopefully, uh, maybe move up one spot if we can, and yeah, have a nice clean race.
Well, that was a cracker race. He uh, went from eighth during the race, got up to six, couple of good passes. The only little hiccup was, uh, I don't think we realized that it was a 10 lap race, not an eight. So a little bit of fuel saving on, going on at the end, but uh, that was an amazing race up the very front. It was pretty much a photo finish for first, second and third. So that was pretty amazing too. As the commentator just proudly said, uh, well, if, uh, if that doesn't turn you on, then you haven't got a switch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use those words now. I reckon I'll steal them. And uh, yeah, that was a great race. And uh, now we've got to uh, do a couple little more things to get ready for the 12 lapper at the end. A good race. Yeah. Gotta be happy with that. You were sixth. Yeah. And you were the first master. What? You were the first master. Yeah. All the rest were pro guys, so gotta be happy with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying this. This is this is fun. Great cars to drive. Clearly you look like they suit your driving style. Yeah, yeah, I'm certainly, I'm happy with it, you know, driving a, like a Formula Ford, they move around a lot, so, you know, it's sort of a bit like, a bit like the Formula Ford in some way, doing that, so yeah. So, race three down, that looked like a fun one too. Yeah, it was, yeah, no, we started out, uh, started out eighth, um, and then I went back a little bit, um, but then I worked my way through, so I got up to six, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Well, not expecting that on the first, first race meeting, that's for sure. Yeah, so top of the Masters for one of the races. Yep. And uh, we've got a long one coming up now. We didn't quite uh, estimate that last race going quite that long. Yeah, yeah, no, I probably should have read that, but yeah, so we're okay. But um, yeah, so we've got a 12 lapper now, so just got to make sure we keep the car nice and straight in regard to, you know, sliding the car so I don't get the tyres too hot, because otherwise I think they'll, they'll fall off the cliff pretty quick. So we just have to try and be thoughtful about not pushing it too hard too early. Yep. Oh, go have more fun in that last race. That's it. Well, Jesus Christ, that was loud. Time for the last race of the day. We've got 12 laps coming up. A couple of little changes to the car, but generally it's pretty good. Sitting in six, so there's not too many more to go from the front. So yeah, it's a fair few cars in it, and they've just done this little bit of a uh, line up on the grid so everyone can come out and get their photos. So hoping for a nice, uh, Nice clean race coming up and uh, see if we can, uh, well, see what we can do about that Masters. See if we can uh, get the guy that's uh, a couple of points in front. and up the inside is Crutcher, and you've got Rusty Wright, then you've got Coulter, then Murray Kent. You talk about tall. Murray Kent's about seven Rusty, foot. isn't he just a crafty character? He's in the third car in that battle to the right. Yeah. Lindstrom in behind Crutcher. <laughs> Seventh place. Uh, not sure what happened with the car there. It wasn't quite as good compared to the people around him, but he uh, had a few people spin and do a few other bits and pieces in front of him on that last lap, so he ended up getting seventh, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, just coming into pits now. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> to me, it's been a real experience. I've done a lot of motorsport over the years, and this would be the friendliest um, and most looked after car driver I've been involved with. And I know it comes from the hot people who does a great job in carrying with him. So to me, and everybody's been so friendly. I'll be telling everybody about it. It's awesome. Okay, right. mate. Well done. Nice job. <laughs> So how was that? You got a bit of a uh, trophy there. Yeah, yeah, we did. I got the one of the masters for the the round, which is pretty good. Uh, um, there's a guy out here who was in front of me, and he probably would end up winning it, but uh, he had issues. But still, that's that's motor racing, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, like, no, I'm delighted with that. And I think I was sixth or something for the round. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well I'm ecstatic with that. That's fantastic. That was not what my expectations were. We'll see what rounds he does in the future, but uh, yeah. I thought that was something a bit different to bring you guys and uh, if you guys like it let me know in the comments if we do any more of these rounds I might do a bit more but uh, for me it was mostly about capturing more from a family perspective so that we can have it for the future but also bring you guys along for the ride so like I said if you uh, liked this like subscribe comment all that other YouTube stuff but also let us know if you like this sort of thing something a bit different from the normal uh, drifting and uh, Jap cars.